Hello and welcome back. In this lesson, we are going to continue building on the Linux virtual machine that we set up in the previous lesson. If you recall, in the last lecture, we set up a Ubuntu Linux virtual machine through the Hyper-V manager on Windows 10. So we're gonna continue working with that virtual machine and we are going to install the software and tools that are needed to run C Sharp on that machine. So let's just dive right in and we're going to go to our Hyper-V manager. So you can search for that in your search bar by typing Hyper-V and we will open Hyper-V manager. And the machine that I set up last time, I called it Linux C Sharp Dev Machine. I'm going to right click and select start to get that up and running. And now that I see that that's running, I'm going to connect to that machine. I'll go ahead and maximize this window. And I'm going to set my resolution and I'm going to choose to have this saved for every time I connect to this machine, just to save me some steps. All right, so it looks like we are connected and we need to log in. So I'm gonna use my username put in my password, and I'm back on my Ubuntu desktop. Open Firefox, and we're going to install Visual Studio Code, which is a lightweight integrated development environment that you can use to write C-sharp code, Python code. There's numerous extensions for several different languages, so it's a really nice editor to begin working with. So to do that, let's go to code.visualstudio.com. Going to maximize my Firefox here. We will scroll down and see at the bottom of the page, we have install packages for Windows, Mac, and Linux. Since I'm running Ubuntu, I'm going to go with this 64-bit link next to the .deb extension. And I'm going to choose to open with the software install. And we'll see that my software installer opens up once that has downloaded. And I want to click this install button and I need to put in my password. So we can now close out our software installer and I'll go ahead and close out Firefox. Just close my tabs. And if I go to my applications, which I can do by clicking this dotted icon in the lower left corner, and I should now be able to search for Visual Studio, and I see my icon here now, I'm going to right click this and add it to my favorites. So it says that's been added. And I now have Visual Studio code here in my favorites bar. So let's just go ahead and open that. I'll maximize this. It automatically opens this getting started page, so we'll just close that. So what I want to do first is I want to go to terminal and new terminal, and this opens us a terminal right here in our IDE. And I'm going to open Firefox back up because we need to install the .NET Core SDK. And to do that, we need to run a few commands so go ahead and go to this link that I've pasted in my address bar, which is .net.microsoft.com forward slash download forward slash .net core forward slash 2.2. And you can see it's going to have release information. We have the .net SDK in the center and we have downloads for the runtime in the right column. The runtime will let you run apps, the SDK is what you need if you want to build apps. So we need to find a link for our Linux distribution. And so I see here I have Linux and I want to use the package manager instructions. So I'm going to choose this x64 link. Now once you're here, you'll see that I have this option to choose a Linux distribution. So you could choose from any one of these distributions. Uh, you just need to make sure that you choose the one that matches the distribution that you're running. In this video, I'm running Ubuntu 18.04, 18 
on a 64-bit architecture, so I'm going to choose that. And we now need to follow these instructions to get our .NET Core SDK installed. And when we install the SDK, it will automatically also install the runtime for us as well. So we can read here and we need see that we need to register the Microsoft key and feed. And it says we only need to do this once per machine. So let's just copy this first command and go back over to our Visual Studio code. And I'm going to paste that here in my terminal. So I ran that. Let's go back over to Firefox and we can see we need to run this dpackage command. So I will copy that and paste that back into my terminal also. Gave it my password to let it do the install. So that looks good. Let's go over here again. And we see that we have several commands here. I'm actually going to put my editors side by side. It'll make this just a little bit easier for us to switch back and forth. Very nice, that'll be much easier. So now we see that we need to do the second step, which is install the .NET SDK. And we do that with this series of commands. So we're going to just use our copy and paste here and copy each one of these and paste it and run it. So now I want to grab this sudo apt get update and I'll paste that here and run that. And last but not least, we need to copy this final command that installs the .NET SDK. So it's prompting me asking if I want to continue. I'm going to say yes. This may take just a minute as it downloads and extracts all these packages. Okay, so my install command for the .NET SDK completed. Now we want to verify that everything did indeed install. So if I close out Firefox or minimize it, and I'm going to maximize my Visual Studio Code window here, I'm just going to go into my terminal and type .NET. And I can see that it prints out this usage information for the .NET command. So that's a good indication that the SDK did install. To do a further test, let's Go ahead and let's create a template program. So I'm going to do an ls and I want to cd into my documents folder. So I'm going to create a new project from a template. So I'm going to do .NET new and this is going to be a console application. I'm going to use the dash o option which tells it to create this in a specific folder. And I'm going to say my first app. So now if I run an ls command, I see that it created the folder my first app. Let's cd into my first app. We'll run an ls there and we see that we have a program.cs. So now if we run .NET and we say .NET run, we see that we have hello world. So that's awesome. It looks like our SDK is installed and we can run a program. So everything we've done here, we've done through the terminal in Visual Studio Code, but ultimately we'd really like to hook everything up into the IDE so that we can take advantage of debugging and all those great things that Visual Studio Code provides for us. So I hope you'll join me in the next lesson where we will finish getting everything hooked up into our Visual Studio Code IDE.